Hello everyone, it's Missy. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to share some hairstyles using Dutch braids. I posted a few of these on Instagram and many of you asked for a tutorial, so I really hope you enjoy today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss any future uploads, and let's get started! To start the first hairstyle, I'm going to start by dividing off a section of hair at the front of my head. This will be for the fishtail braid, so I want the section to be large enough that the braid will be big enough to see. So I'm dividing off a square shaped section and then I'm going to braid this into a fishtail braid. So I like to start my fishtail braids like a regular three strand braid. So I've got three sections and I'm crossing the side strands over the middle strand. And after the initial stitch of the braid, I'm going to combine two sections together so now I have two sections for the fishtail part. So now I'm going to take small sections of hair from one side and cross it over to the opposite side. And I'm just switching back and forth between the left side and the right side, dividing off small sections of hair and crossing them over to the opposite side. I'm not adding in any additional hair, I just want to create one standalone braid that will lay down the center of the hairstyle. And I'm just switching back and forth between the left side and the right side, dividing off small sections of hair and crossing them over to the opposite side, working my way down to the nape of my neck. So once the braid reaches the nape of my neck, I'm just going to clip off this braid so it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to clip it out of the way so I can braid the rest of the hair. So now I'm going to make a Dutch braid going down the back of my head. So I'm going to pick up a section of hair right underneath the fishtail braid, near the crown of my head, and I'm going to split this into three smaller pieces. I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand to create a Dutch braid so the braid will sit out on top of my head. And after the initial cross under on both sides, I'm going to begin incorporating new sections of hair into the braid on both sides of the braid. So I'm still crossing the side strands under the middle strand, and then I'm going to pick up sections of hair from along both sides of my head, working my way down to the nape of my neck. I would say I brought in medium sized sections, not too thick, and I didn't really worry about incorporating hair from the middle of my head, just from along the sides and back towards the braid. Then once the braid reaches the nape of my neck and I've brought in all of the hair, I'm going to clip off the braid so it doesn't unravel. And now before I do the bun part of the style, I'm first going to pull out my braid. This is really important to get the full look of the style that we're going for. So I'm just going to pull on the sides of the braid starting at the bottom and working my way up to the top. I want the braid to be as flat and as wide as I can possibly make it. This will make the style really pop if there's a huge size difference between the Dutch braid and the fishtail braid. So once the braid is really wide and stretched, now I'm going to let down the fishtail braid and line it up down the center of the Dutch braid. And then with all of my hair combined together at the nape of my neck, I'm going to take my hairband and tie it over the hair. On the second wrap, I'm going to only pull the hair partway through to create a loop. Then with the ends that are sticking out the bottom, I'm going to divide this hair into two sections and twist them over the top of the bun in opposite directions. And then I'm just going to tuck the ends back through the hairband underneath the bun to hold them in place. Today's video is sponsored by Formulate, so I wanted to quickly share how I used Formulate to prep my hair for these hairstyles. I wash my hair about once a week and I'm always growing out my hair and trying to keep it long and healthy. So I've been using Formulate because it's a personal formulation service that creates customized shampoo and conditioner for your specific hair type. You have a personal cosmetic chemist that designs your initial formulas, which are then individually dispensed, mixed, and shipped directly to you, which is really convenient. I took their brief questionnaire to find out details about my hair so I can receive customized products that work specifically for my hair. And since I knew what I wanted, it was really easy to complete. I first selected my natural hair color, whether I had gray hair, and how long my hair is. Then I selected wavy and medium fine for my hair type, and that I didn't have any dandruff or any other scalp conditions. Then it asked how often I wash my hair and whether or not I color it, which I do. There's also questions about what I use to style my hair, what color I dye it, and other treatments I've had. They ask really good questions so they can get to know your hair and recommend the right formulations for you. So then I next selected my hair goals and the fragrance I preferred. I chose Serenity, which is lavender and chamomile, and it smells so good. Then when I received my package in the mail, they came with convenient pump tops, so I just popped those on and they were ready to go. 
Their mobile app allows you to communicate directly with your personal formulation team and they will check in on your progress after each of your shipments so you can work together to kind of evolve your formulas based on how your hair and scalp are responding. Formulate was also kind enough to offer a giveaway as well. So one lucky winner will receive an 8 ounce set of personalized shampoo and conditioner. And then everyone who enters the giveaway will also receive an invite with $5 off their order. So I will leave a link down below in the description box. Make sure to check it out. And if you have any hair goals for 2021, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section so we can all support each other. For the next hairstyle, I've parted my hair near the center. And then I'm going to divide my hair into two sections, so I'm creating a zigzag part line down the back of my head. Doing a zigzag line will just help hide the actual part line, and then I'm just going to clip off one side so I can work with the opposite side. So now I'm going to do a Dutch braid, so I'm just going to pick up a section of hair on one side near the hairline and split this into three smaller pieces. Since I'm doing a Dutch braid, I'm going to cross the side strands under the middle strand, alternating between the left and the right side strands. And after the initial stitch, I'm going to begin incorporating new sections of hair into the braid. So I'm just going to continue the braid crossing the side strands under the middle strand while bringing in new sections of hair, and I'm just going to work my way down the side of my head. Once the braid reaches to about my ear, I'm just going to clip off the braid so I can move over to the opposite side. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps as before and create a Dutch braid with the hair on the left side of my head. So I'm picking up a section of hair near the hairline and dividing it into three smaller pieces. I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand again and I'm going to be incorporating new sections of hair into the braid as I go. So I'm just working my way down the side of my head bringing in new sections from along both the hairline and from along the middle part until the braid reaches to about behind my ear. Then once both braids are done, what I'm going to do is tie off the braids, but I'm not going to completely tie off all of the sections. So since each braid has three separate pieces, I'm going to take one piece from each braid and I'm going to combine these together and then tie them off with a clear elastic band. Now on the sides of my neck, I should have one more section on both sides. So I'm going to pick up these two sections of hair and I'm going to bring them over the top of the rest of the hair and tie them off using another elastic band. Then I'm going to flip the ends up and around the elastic so the two sides are twisted. And now I'm going to create an elastic style braid. So what I'm going to do is take the remaining hair and divide it into two pieces, a top section and a bottom section. With the bottom section, I'm going to divide the hair into two separate pieces. I'm going to wrap these around the top hair and then using an elastic band, I'm going to tie them together. Then I'm going to flip the ends up and around the elastic band so the two sides are twisted again. And then I can go back over the two twists and gently pull on them so they're a little bit fuller. Now I'm going to take the bottom section of hair that's underneath, divide this into two more sections, a left side and a right side. I'm going to bring these two sections up and around the top hair and tie them together using another elastic band. Then I'm going to flip the ends up and around the elastic so the sides are twisted again. And then I can go back over the twists and pull on the edges so they're a lot fuller. And I'm just going to repeat these steps and create four to five more sections of this elastic style braid. So I'm just taking the bottom section of hair and dividing it into two pieces. I'm going to wrap them around the sides of the top hair and then tie them together using a clear elastic band. And then I'm going to flip the ends up and around the elastic and then gently pull on the edges to make the twists fuller. You can create as many twists as you would like. You can go all the way to the bottom of the hair or just create a few at the top. I wanted a longer tail on the ends so I only went about halfway down. Then once I finished that part of the hairstyle I just set everything in place with some hairspray. For the next hairstyle I've parted my hair near the center. And then I'm going to divide my hair into two sections, so I'm creating a zigzag part line down the back of my head. I just like doing this so you don't see a part line when the style is finished. And then I'm going to create another part from the center back horizontally towards my right ear. I'm going to take this top section and clip it aside. This is going to be used for one of the braids, so I want it pinned out of the way so I don't bring in any of this hair. Then I'm going to create another horizontal part line, starting at the back of my head and then going over towards my left ear. 
I'm going to wrap up the bottom hair and clip this aside. This will be used for the bun portion of the hairstyle. So with the remaining hair, I'm going to braid this into a Dutch braid. So I'm going to divide off some hair to frame my face. And then I'm going to pick up a section near the part and divide it into three smaller pieces. Since I'm doing a Dutch braid where the hair sits out on top, I'm going to be crossing the side strands under the middle strand. And then after the first stitch of the braid, I'm going to begin incorporating sections of hair into the braid and work my way towards the back of my head. I brought in medium sized sections, about three or four total. So I'm just working my way down the side of my head, bringing in new sections from along both the hairline and from along the middle part until the braid reaches to about behind my ear. Then once all of the hair is brought into the braid, I'm just going to continue braiding the section down to the ends. Then I'm going to tie off the end of the braid with a clear elastic band. Once that braid is done, I'm going to repeat the same steps and create another braid on the right side. So I'm going to let down the hair on the right side and divide off a section for the braid. I'm splitting this into three smaller pieces and starting the braid by crossing the side strands under the middle strand. I'm also going to be incorporating new sections of hair into the braid like before and I'm going to work my way along the side of my head like the previous braid towards the back of my head. Then once I've brought in all of the hair from this section, I'm going to continue braiding the hair a little further down and then tie an elastic band over the bottom. Now that both braids are done, I'm going to use the bottom hair to create a bun. So I'm going to remove the clips from the hair and use it to clip away the two top braids so they're out of the way. And then with all of my hair combined together at the nape of my neck, I'm going to take my hairband and tie it over the hair. On the second wrap, I'm going to only pull the hair partway through to create a loop. But then with the ends that are sticking out the bottom, I'm going to divide this hair into two sections and twist them over the top of the bun in opposite directions. And then I'm just going to tuck the ends back through the hairband underneath the bun to hold them in place. Then I'm going to let down the two braids and wrap the right braid over the left side of the bun and wrap the left braid over the right side of the bun so I'm crisscrossing them over the top. I'm going to pin the braids in place using some bobby pins and then I can remove the elastics from the ends of the braids and unravel them. I'm going to take these two ends and add these into the bun so I'm twisting them around the bun in opposite directions. So I'm wrapping the end from the left side underneath and over the bun on the right side and then wrapping the ends on the right side, underneath and around the left side. And then I'm just going to pin the hair in place on the two sides of the bun using some bobby pins. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which of the three hairstyles was your favorite down below in the comments section. Make sure to like and subscribe as always and click that notification bell so you never miss any future videos. And I will see you next time.